Speaking of Poetry by John Peel Bishop. The ceremony must be found that will wed Desdemona to the huge moor. It is not enough to win the approval of the senator or to outwit his disapproval. Honest Iago can manage that. It is not enough. For then, though she may pant again in his black arms, his weight resilient as a Barbary stallion's, she will be found when the ambassadors of the Venetian state arrive, again smothered. These things have not been changed, not in three hundred years. Tupping is still tupping, though that particular word is obsolete. Naturally, the ritual would not be in Latin. For though Othello had his blood from kings, his ancestry was barbarous, his ways African, his speech uncouth. It must be remembered that though he valued an embroidery, three mulberries proper on a silk like silver, it was not for the subtlety of the stitches, but for the magic in it. Whereas Desdemona once contrived to imitate in needlework her father's shield, and plucked it out three times to begin again, each time with diminished colors. This is a small point, but indicative. Desdemona was small and fair, delicate as a grasshopper at the tag end of summer, a Venetian to her noble fingertips. Oh, it is not enough that they should meet naked at dead of night in a small inn on a dark canal. Procurers less expert than Iago can arrange as much. The ceremony must be found traditional with all its symbols, ancient as the metaphors and dreams, strange with never before heard music, continuous until the torches deaden at the bedroom door.